back on our home court. Had a nice road trip, six days to the East Coast. I think our bodies are adjusted to the time change, getting back in LA for a few days of practice. It's nice to be in front of the home fans and play well. I thought our guys shared the ball tonight, played pretty good defense. Uh, Dixie State played really well at the end of the first half, beginning the second half, gave us some issues, but uh, we figured it out and finished the game strong. Speaking on that, so as you just stated, Dixie State did try to make a run in the first half. So what did it take for your team to refocus defensively in the second? Well, we made some defense mistakes that are uncharacteristic with a lot of switching. We were supposed to be switching, and then we weren't. And they, they made it tough on us. We burnt back door a couple times. Just silly defense mistakes that we haven't made. Uh, so we have to get better at that. And I think our guys adjusted to that from about the 17 minute mark on to finish the game. It was pretty clear that you know you guys were overmatched. Dixie State was overmatched. And it seemed like you had a pretty short halftime speech. The team was right out there early, getting warmed up again. Anything you said to them or not say to them? Well, we expected them to play better defense. I thought our defense was strong. And then the last five minutes and a half, it really let down. And they scored probably seven or eight straight possessions to get back in the game. And so. We expect more out of our starters, but I think they fixed that in the second half and came out with the intensity and a, a more communication to um, uh, to pull away. When you went to the bench there in the first half and the lead was starting to, to you know, become larger, um, it, what do you think about the way Reese played? It seemed like he was keeping the offense sort of behind his head. Him in particular. Yeah, I thought Reese played great in the first half. Played, played really well the whole game. Played very good defense. He made some shots. So he's, he's improved a lot in the last few weeks. And uh, so of our other freshmen, I thought Kobe and Malik and Harry did a nice job as well. Coach Boogie's kind of settled in pretty quickly. How nice is that to see that he's comfortable with the guys? Well, he's a terrific offensive player. He made a couple defense mistakes, but he's uh, really uh, uh, shooting the ball well. He's making the right play at the right time, sharing the ball, and and uh, he's, he plays very hard. So we're excited for him. Can you talk about Max's. How would you review your three-point shooting at this point of the season, especially because you had you know, kind of a three-point legend? Uh, yeah, 12 of 32, uh, that's a lot for us. Uh, we're usually strong in the paint. I guess we have 48 points in the paint. So I was happy to see some shots go down for some guys like Max. He, he uh, started out the year a little slow, made three tonight, three in a row, I believe. And and Reese made two, and then Boogie made three. And Ethan, Ethan's playing really well right now. He's five freight from the field, 13 points, three assists. Thought he played a really good floor game, including knocking down a few threes. On Max, I won polo. Tonight might have been his best overall performance in a while? Are offensively, you? yeah, but he's had some big games for us defensively. Uh, offensively, I thought he shot the ball well and came out in the second half and played great. Yeah, it seemed like he was the glue that, on defense and getting on, out on the break and getting yeah. the ball on the outlet. Yeah, he played really well today. Yeah. You guys were up 22-5 to five early on, like through the first eight minutes or something. From there, was it just a matter of guys putting their guard down or something like that? Or what did you think sort of caused those, you know? Well, I, I think... Uh, we subbed five at a time, which we normally don't do because we had the lead and, and I wanted to try to get our young guys in the game and, and see what they could do. I thought they played well. And then we brought the starters back in the last seven minutes and that's when the defensive lapses started. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of depth, a lot of uh, interchangeable parts this year. And, and some guys play well on certain nights and some don't. Uh, but the goal is like last year in our Elite Eight run, we had uh, certain players step up on a game to game basis and we're expecting the same here. So. Uh, I, th I did think our uh, our, our uh, second group that we brought in played really well. How important is it for Max to see some of those balls go down when you started out slow after you had such a uh, big preseason for you guys? He yeah, shot the ball very well in the preseason. Shot a low percentage the first three games. I think he was one for eight from the three. And in the 30s from the field, it was nice. He was six for 12, three for seven from the field, 17 points, six rebounds. So confidence is a big thing in this game. And to see that first shot go in, I thought it gave him great confidence. Well, we have to clean up our defensive mistakes, get ready for a two-game tournament that we have four good teams in it. It should be a lot of fun. It's close to home, which is nice. Uh, Temple or uh, St. Joseph's and uh, uh, Georgetown have to travel from the East Coast. And of course, San Diego State is a couple hours south. So uh, we're usually a few thousand miles away for Thanksgiving. We're always in these tournaments all over the country. It'll be nice to be here. We've never done it uh, this close since I've been here. And, and uh, it'll be nice to have some fans 
hopefully, and uh, play some really good basketball teams. What kind of challenges does St. Joseph present to you in that first game? Honestly, I haven't looked at St. Joseph's yet, so uh, I know they have a point guard that's outstanding, 6'7", and uh, other than that, I haven't watched any video. I try to take it game by game. I was focused on Dixie State tonight. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving.